We're here at the St. Louis Science Center to talk about Becoming Jane, the evolution of Dr. Jane Goodall. This exhibition is about one of our most legendary living scientists, Dr. Jane Goodall, and it's through her perspective. Rarely do we get to have a scientist of her caliber tell her own story, but in this exhibition, she's talking directly to you about her life's work, and in fact, there's a hologram of Jane in here that'll talk directly to your family as you visit. If you don't know Dr. Jane Goodall, she is famous for discovering that chimpanzees had a lot of behaviors like us. Tool use, social bonds, personalities of their own. She was the first person to document this on the scientific record. It was a huge breakthrough. This exhibition isn't just about that. It's about her whole life and how she got to where she is today. To tell Jane's story of her childhood, there are a lot of her personal objects on display, including some of her favorite books from her childhood, hand-drawn notes of nature, she was a keen observer of nature even as a child, but I think most importantly we have her real chimp doll, Jubilee, that she's had since she was a kid. Normally it sits on her dresser, but we have stolen it from her for this exhibition, and I think it's just cool to see not only were chimps important to her as a child, but it's something that she's carried with her in her entire life. We move through her adulthood where we learn how she got to where she is. She didn't start out as a scientist as it turns out. A chance meeting in Africa led her to meet one of the greatest anthropologists of the 20th century, Dr. Louis Leakey, who assigned her to start researching chimpanzees with no scientific background whatsoever. But it was because of this lack of background and an extreme amount of patience on her part, she was able to make some discoveries about the behaviors of chimps that we had never seen before. She would take very detailed notes in a handwritten journal. And in fact, in this exhibition, there's an area where the uh, journal can really come to life and show you those chimpanzee behaviors in an animated form. There's an area where you can learn to vocalize like a chimpanzee, which is an absolute blast. And it's important when you experience that part not to be shy. Really give it your all because that's how the chimpanzees do it. There's also some of those incredible photos from National Geographic that a lot of us found in those magazines as our first experience with Dr. Jane Goodall's work. You'll also move into the current time and some of those issues that chimpanzees and their habitats are facing. And that's what Jane is working on today. Speaking of that conservation, she'll tell you of the ways that you can help out the world a little bit. And behind me, you'll see the Tree of Hope. And in that area, you can make a pledge, a small thing that you can do on a daily basis to make the world a little bit better. When you make that pledge, it becomes a leaf on that tree, which will remain up there till the end of the exhibition. And by the end of it, it'll just be covered with leaves. And those are all a little reminder of the ways in which all of us can work together to make the world a little bit better. This exhibition will be on display here at the St. Louis Science Center until April, and you can find more information at slsc.org.